How's it going, everybody? Welcome back. I'm Mr. Milanese, and today's exploratory activity is all about business and careers in education. So these are two separate classes. The business class is really ideal for people who want to own their own business or become an entrepreneur. And of course, the careers in education class is for people who want to be teachers or a principal. Uh, both classes are going to offer some really great firsthand experience, and both of them are going to offer a Microsoft certification and an embedded English credit. So your senior year, you won't have to take that fourth English credit because you picked it up in either of those classes. Now, both of those classes have a kind of a special little add-on that's really unique to them in that they both have the opportunity for you to earn an associate's degree while you're in high school. That's a two-year college degree that you can pick up while you're in high school. So an associate's degree in either one of those. And then of course, if you wanna move on after school and get a four-year college degree, well now you're already halfway there. So there's huge benefits to, you know, if you wanna own your own business or you wanna become a teacher, we highly recommend you take a look at these classes because they have so many benefits. So with that in mind, you have a box labeled business slash careers in education. Go ahead and open that up and let's get started. Hello, I'm Mrs. Cooper and I teach business and careers in education at the Career Center. And today I'm gonna to tell you about uh, my exploratory in a box uh, project. I'm actually gonna teach you how to make a personal brand. So before we teach you, before you learn how to do your own personal brand, I'm gonna to talk to you about what is a brand. And I've created a little slideshow to explain what branding means. All right, so what is a brand? So a brand identifies products or services of a company. And as consumers, we trust brands or we gain trust in brands, or we might even lose trust in, in brands. So you may not be familiar with uh, what a brand is, but I'm sure you're familiar with some of these brands that I'm going to share with you in the slideshow. And as we're looking at these slides, I want you to think, what do you think of when you see these logos? That's another word that you may or may not be familiar with. And what do the brands represent? And why do you choose one brand over another brand? And what brands do you trust or not trust? So on this slide, you can see that we have brands. Uh, you, you see Walmart and Amazon, Apple, Samsung, and you're probably mostly familiar with these brands. So think about those questions that I asked you. you know, do you choose one of these brands over another brand? Do you, do you trust one brand more? And why? What is it about that brand that um, has created that trust and that recognition that you have of it? So brands can be valuable. So of course, when we're dealing with brands like we just saw on the slide before, that means money. You know, it's valuable as in money. Um, companies can sell the rights to use their name, such as McDonald's. They make franchises, have created franchising rights. They, um, the product packaging is important because that can also be a reflection of the brand and it can show you a difference in different brands. So think about cereals and soft drinks whenever you go to the grocery store. So let's look at these. So we see Michael Jordan, McDonald's, here's that cereal aisle, see all of those different brands and logos of cereal, the packaging. You, you recognize these instantly, especially when you go into a convenience store or grocery store. So, now that you've got a little taste of what a brand is, let's think about a personal brand. So your personal brand is how people see you. So your family, your friends, your teachers, when you get a little older, your employers, how would they describe you? And this is important whenever you're in the business field or in the careers and education field because if you, if you decide to go either of those routes, people want to do business with people they can trust. And as a student, you even know, you may recognize that different teachers might have a certain brand. You know, there may be teachers that some students like more, or trust more, or don't trust. So that's because that teacher, maybe without knowing, they've created a brand. So let's think about what your personal brand is from the project I'm gonna have you do. For example, let's look at some of these. You may recognize some of these people. You've got um, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, 
He's got his quote. All successes begin with self-discipline. It starts with you. So, and there's various other famous people and they're a quote that is attached to them. So just keep that in mind. So now for your brand project, I'm actually going to provide you with a, a workbook. It's called uh, My Personal Branding Project Workbook. And you're going to go through this workbook and, and complete five tasks, just like I have them listed here on the slide. Task one, you're gonna explore your core values. So th this is what makes you you. Th these are what you believe in. And I'm gonna walk you through an exercise that helps you identify your core values. Your next task, you're gonna do a true colors personality test. We're gonna to try to pinpoint your personality. Now there are a ton of personality tests out on the internet and available. I've just chosen one. If you prefer to do something online, that's fine. We're just trying to find some of your personality traits. Task three, you're gonna do a personal SWOT analysis. And I provide you with the tools in your workbook to do that. SWOT means strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. So I will give you a brief description of that process. Task four, you're going to do a personal goals table. So I'm gonna walk you through a, just a really simple goal setting task. Um, and then task five, your final product, is going to be your personal brand. Now in your box, I'm gonna provide you with a couple sheets of cardstock paper, and I'm gonna give each of you a box of colored pencils. Now you're free to use these items that I've given you to create your personal brand. Um, or you can use a t-shirt, a cereal box, shoe box, anything you have at home. But I want you to create a poster, packaging, think of a cereal box, something like that, that would identify your personal brand. And in the workbook, I give you specific steps and details on how to do that. So, Again, this, this right here, your brand project, it will tell you your package should include your name, a quote that aligns with your personal brand. If you have a favorite quote that you think sums you up, that would be a good quote to add. You can be artistic, add graphics or illustrations, but your personal brand project needs to include everything from your tasks that were in the workbook. So everything should be already there for you. So I hope that you have fun with this project and learn a little bit more about yourself and your personal brand. Thank you.